Good evening, Dr. Jim Carlson here for uh, going over Cooper's SRT analysis. So uh, to start with, we want to go down to the bottom of the page. You know, each page has a grid uh, which lets you look at the, uh, the differences between acute stress and chronic stress. Acute stress over here is going to be um, related to things the body can handle. Uh, and over here on chronic is things that were initially acute stress, but then the body over time went into what, what they call compensation mode, uh, more or less surrendering to whatever imbalance. And these have a major effect on health because they're producing biochemicals which affect how the, each system functions. You know, and if we're uh, looking at uh, test analysis, a lot of the, well, at least 50% of the uh, test results are from body. And then we get down to biofeedback here, which is environmental. And um, if you have any individual questions, I mean, there's, there's quite a few here, which doesn't mean it's bad or good. It just says, I think it's always good news to be able to see these numbers and go, okay, we've got some, some things that we can update. Um, but a lot of times um, when we see changes uh, with our pet's health, when we run these tests, we can tell that there's quite a few things going on uh, under the scenes. And so they can be acting healthy or not much going on as far as, far as symptoms, but they can have a lot of potential uh, for disease because of all this disease here. So when you give the drops, you're clearing all this out. Uh, and that's the good news. But um, so look through it and let me know if you have questions. Send your uh, inquiries to Riverside McHenry at Gmail. I'm happy to talk about individual ones on here. Um, or if you want to talk about it in general. But, um, you know, after giving the drops, certainly we can follow up after three months and, and see how things are going. But... Uh, there again to shoot it to Riverside McHenry at Gmail. Thanks so much.